Mm. Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is Target employees are promising to go on strike unless Target opens up at 6 a.m. Yes, the day after Thanksgiving for Black Friday. Of course, this is, what, eight hours after other companies are already opening up for Black Friday? Meanwhile, we'll bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And the AMAs have one of their lowest recorded um, news. Yeah, I suppose because they said it, it tied for the tied for the lowest ever. And it, they said after the JLo scandalous performance, which the network had to approve of, and the uh, and, you know especially since it was nothing more than an uh, un, uh, an unacknowledged plug for Fiat. People turned the thing off. They never stayed to see who won the rest of the award. They just shut it off. Well, well, how far into it was this J-Lo? At the beginning. Oh, really? Yeah, it's up at the very beginning of the thing. You know, first of the first of their production numbers that they're noted for. The problem is, is that there were too many people with too many children sitting in the audience that felt it was. They said it reminded them of the um, of the. Uh, of when Dennis Quaid came up on the stage at the one thing and put a jacket on over um, Britney Spears because he said, this is a family show and my kids are in the audience. AMA's is a family show, folks. Well, it started with 8 o'clock West Coast, which means, what, it was on at uh, 8 o'clock, which is it was, prime it was time. On, it, was on in, it was on earlier. They Same actually, it had all, by the time it came on the West Coast, they'd already known that there was a problem on the Midwest and on the West Coast. It still did nothing because... Oh, wait a minute. Did we get an edited version? No. Well, I don't know. We Nobody knows that here what we got. All they said that was totally inappropriate. There was too much diversity being seen through the uh, thing. I, mean, I can remember years ago um, when they did a number like that on... Uh, they did Tony Shomley dressed at a, uh, one of the... Dan I think... Ann Margaret or something, he dressed her up in an outfit like that for the Carol Burnett show, and they went ballistic about it because they said there was far too much Margaret and not enough, uh, not enough jewels. So, oh, and they okay. just so well. Any time they do that kind of stuff. Oh, also I remember Missy Gaynor did another Tony Shomley thing, where uh, for one of her specials, and they said, "Boy, you really got to see that Missy actually is built like she looks like she's built." And that got condemned by everybody, and they had to tone her down. So it means that AMA, AMA did it because their, their ratings were going backwards, and they thought that it would get controversy, and people would watch it because of uh, J Lo has a following. No, she doesn't have a following. Well, is that the same reason that Ricky Gervais is returning to the Golden Globe? I think it's because he's suing them. He oh. was part of the litigation against them. So to kill him, get him to kill the litigation. They put him back on because there's no one. They're never going to hire a guy that tells you that you can tell who the winners are by who's sitting in the audience in front of me. He said, "Hi, I say, hey, hi, Johnny. Here. No, you win. Oh, hi, Angela. I know you won tonight." And going oh, down. Oh, he actually did say oh, that. Oh, he did that. I mean, we sit there and talk about it, and they're not happy, but. Well, I know. It's just that you know on a lot of these shows who is going to win by who shows up. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, like if you're, uh, I mean. If you're working on a project halfway across the world, and uh, you know, and it's done like on Sunday, you can't be there Monday to work. And they generally, I mean, Michael Caine has had to miss two, both Academy Awards. He's won because he was working on projects elsewhere. You can't. The the industry does not come to a halt because of award shows. So, although sometimes in that, some areas it does, but not in other countries. No, but we've seen here at the Oscars the next day they're working. You know, the people are staying out all night long, and the next morning, they're working again, folks, so. Mm -hmm. And Black Friday, well, talk about a historical chance. So, um, Target employees going on strike for Black Friday? I know. Uh, 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 my father was always, my father was a member of Zillion Union, so was I, that he was always amazed the fact that the unions would pick times when the economy was going backwards and no one was being hired. And there were tons of people to replace you to go on strike and thought they were going to win. You know, that the nation does not support them, pure and simple. They're, it's why only 10% of the people in this nation are union members now, and most of them work for the government. Because the union basically, the union tactics have long ago ceased working. Because when you, uh, when somebody loses his job because of a union strike, 
uh, shut, you know, causes his business to shut down, you make no friends. And uh, saying, well, we're going to shut Target down unless they meet our demands. Well, they can be replaced Friday afternoon. That's, uh, what you do is you just call in the employees that want to work at, at 12, put them on the floor, and then uh, bring in the temps that you hired anyway and tell the temps, you know, you want a full-time job? If you want a full-time job, show up at um, 11 o'clock and you've got the job now. Yep. And they, they're counting on Obama because the data market is partly down on, not on the, the, on the super committee thing because nobody ever believed that they were going to actually cut anything. And, and besides, that, anyway, the next Congress is not bound by anything this Congress signed. So, But they, it's down on the fact that Obama announced that he may have to force businesses that do business with the government to start hiring workers in order to get government business. Are you serious? And that basically tanked the market massively, followed by the fact that I may have to, through more executive action, to stop what the Republicans are doing in this country. And I need a democratically controlled House and Senate, and they'll help solve the problem. Well, if they had a democratically controlled House and Senate, they wouldn't touch any of his job bills. They still don't want his job bills, so. I mean, they don't want to be listed as socialists, and that's the way, I mean, they are, but they just don't want to be listed as socialists, so. If it's Monday, then the housing market is roaring. Oh, yeah, I mean, their sales were up massively in October. I mean, it's just, it said that people are buying homes at record paces. Of course, by Wednesday, they will have redacted the whole thing, and, and, and not only will they not be doing record sales, the sales will actually have fell again. If foreclosures are up, and you can't borrow money, you aren't selling homes. I mean, that, I don't know how much of a genius it takes to figure that out, but every Monday they tell you the market is up, though. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not fell. I mean, you know when it's Monday. If you hear that the housing sales or housing starts are all up, you know it's Monday. Ah, uh, and hackers may have remotely shut down water system in Illinois. Yeah, they, like, they're, they depend too much upon uh, computers and electronics anymore. You can easily shut them. It's just like my father, when he was in the military, my father was an aide to um, Omar Bradley. And Omar Bradley, my father got into a tank because Bradley wasn't able to do it anymore. My father had been a tank officer. And they were talking about the Abrams. And my father said, what happens when you lose your power? They said, well, we don't do that because we got redundancy. He said, what happens when you lose your power? He said, well, we've got batteries, we have redundancy. And then my father started to ask again, and he said, uh, the general of the Army Bradley said, answer my age question. What happens when you lose power? Well, it says, nothing works. And he said, damn thing isn't working, anything is it? And that's the whole bit right there. When, that when a computer can shut down your system, you're screwed. That's right. It's why I don't want to ever fly an airplane that has no wires. Wires is what allows you to have a person's contact with everything not wireless because what if some guy brings on his cell phone and just simply turns his cell phone on the cell phone has a device in it that stops the thing you can crash a bloody airplane from us you know by killing all the instrumentation you gotta go boom i know and that's gotta be easier than doing it some other ways right? well yeah you don't have to blow anything up you just shut down the wireless i mean a wired plane is impossible to bring down except by an explosion a plane Everybody in God of the world knows that if you shut off the computers, you shut off the plane, you shut off, they shut off the, the water. Watch them, they'll shut off, some idiot will shut off a nuclear power plant next the same way. Uh. That is shut off all of the computer controls and then you have to do it manually and water. And my guess is most of the plants have not done anything manually and so often that... You uh, probably don't even know what to do. Probably most of them don't, I would bet so. And what you're looking at today, I mean, know we've been sitting here talking about the news, is... When the sun comes out, what happens in Southern California? They start filming as much as they can. So I mean, especially when we haven't had that much sun. Because they said, since there's a platform built on the back by the water, I'm assuming we got a musical thing being done down here. Probably, I mean, there's an awful lot of trucks, but not many people, and they're eating lunch. So it's a, it's a union production, you can tell that. But it's probably they got somebody doing a music video or something on a stage out there. The yeah. wages stay flat after Arizona passed the E-Verify study says. Well, why would it make the wages go up in order to verify, in order to pass a law that says you have to, you know, if you got to work, 
you know, for the government, you have to verify that you actually are legal. You know, that you have a social security card. That's not going to make your wages go up. I don't. I but the Democrats, well, it, they promised the wages would go up if they. No, they didn't well, promise. Well, how the in wages. the world would the? I don't understand. They, it that can't one. raise wages. All it can do is to make certain that the people that are getting the government jobs actually live. I mean, I, I was watching a thing the other day. Okay, this is a good example from not a spring chick. You know, she she got an offer from people that we have been connected to for six years to come do something for the same people we've been connected to, and they had no clue that we have been working with them for six years. Mm -hmm. It's a government operation, folks. That's normal. Mm -hmm. They have no clue who's doing business with them. Well, you know, that's just a different group. Yeah. You know, a, a list for a different group, right? Yeah, same, same organization. We're on computers today. It's not like we don't have an unusual company name. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And uh, Americans allegedly sought to help Gaddafi for ten million dollars. Yeah, well, that's what mercenaries generally do. You know, unfortunately, they didn't get their ten million. Oh, is that what happened? Well, yeah, because they killed Gaddafi. Now they're gonna. Now they show you how how they are. They're gonna kill Gaddafi's son after the United Nations said to turn it over to him. The World Court says for the, be turned over. No, they're gonna try him by their tribal laws. Well, that isn't how it works in a civilized country. You don't use tribal laws to do things, but he will find himself dead very shortly. And it just, just shows that, uh, you know, once the country turns back to heart, line Muslim, you're never going to get them back without a massive war. I mean, I don't know where, the, I mean, the Democrats were skeptical, the Republicans were really skeptical, but Obama said that we have to trust them, you know. Everybody he's trusted so far, Egypt, Egypt is riding the very people that basically took down Madoc, you know, Missouri, Missouri, basically are riding now against the military. Oh, really? Yeah, because the, the uh, military has no intention of allowing free elections. They, they're just why in, would they? Because they're in control. They've been in control since Anwar Sadat, folks. Yeah, so why would you want to give them control? Right. Yeah. McDonald dumps McMuffin egg factory over health concerns. I know. I mean, I, I don't. To me, I think it's ridiculous that they don't. I mean, my mother, I mean, we basically had a truck farm in um, Culver City. A lot of people in the 30s and 40s and 50s had truck farms. And my mother was in a restaurant business. My mother, we also sold the extra eggs that we had, you know, in front of our place. My mother always made certain that the egg, everything was done in sanitary condition. It's not difficult. I mean, you clean up the, you, you make certain that the pins are clean, that the birds are, you know, not stuck setting and roost, and uh, you don't have that problem. But egg farm, farm today, basically the birds never get down from where they're at. They just lay eggs until they die. You just keep them in a cage, right? They're, they're basically in a little, in a, in a little walled-in unit, you know, with the four walls and an area for laying eggs. You know, they're the, everything that they poop everywhere, and they wet everywhere, and they do everything you can think everywhere. And sometimes you, you can have a four or five inches of stuff in the floor. So. Supreme Court unlikely to have final word on health care. It's going to have to be Congress because. Um, the, the Supreme Court will not kill the taxes. The Supreme Court, it is the best estimate they will undo the individual mandate, but they will not stop the taxes because the Supreme Court has never stopped the tax. So therefore, uh, it will take con an act of Congress and a, re and a Republican president in order to undo health care. And it will be undone because but every, every poll that everyone takes, say the Democrats don't like it, the Republicans don't like it, the Independents don't like it, the minorities don't like it, and everybody has their own reason, but the only thing that they all agree on is two-thirds of the people do not like Obamacare. So, I mean, it's a dead deal. Well, at least they it, agree on something. Yeah, well, I mean, they can agree. I mean, like right now, the, the deficit committee is meeting to say that, well, we can't come to a conclusion because the Republicans won't. Uh, give in to their demands. Well, the Democrats want to raise tax. Okay, they need to cut 1.2 trillion dollars out of the budget. The Democrats' idea is to raise taxes by 1 trillion dollars and cut defense spending by 200 billion. Um, that's not, you know, that isn't what was planned. I mean, 
you know, raising taxes is not stopping spending, and they want everybody in the world says. I mean, Obama criticizes the world. You have to stop spending and get your house in order. When this guy, every day, he proposes new spending bills. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, this morning, the the number, the the, the, the head pollsters for the Democratic Party basically did an op-ed for in the New York Times that said the Democratic Party wants this man gone and they want him gone. They, they want him to resign, him and Biden to resign from office and turn the presidency over to the second, you know, with the permission of John Bonnier to turn the presidency over to the attorney, uh, the uh, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton was fourth in line. And, uh, and that, because the Democrats don't want the guy because they said he's the most decisive president this nation has ever had. He has no plans on doing, I mean the guy will, he's gonna throw the Democratic Party under the wheels of the bus so he can win re-election. And he has no intentions of ever stepping down. So, yeah, if, if the coup is already started, you know that Biden, okay, the um, Bonyard couldn't, Bonyard would be president if Biden and uh, and 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 Obama stick down. So if there's at, if they're saying that he will step aside, it means they've already talked it over with the leaders of the House and Senate, folks. That's an indication that they do not want this man running. Period. They want him out of the presidency and they want him to resign. So don't look forward to the fact that if he pisses off enough people, that he will take at least a month's medical leave by order of the uh, law. There is a piece in the Constitution that says the President of the United States, for medical reason, can be set down. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. He doesn't pay any attention to the Constitution, but my guess is if the leaders of the House and Senate, Republican and Democrat, decide he needs a physical examination because he's tired, he will, he will be tired, and then Biden will take over. And Biden isn't quite as senile as you might think. And um, Kenneth? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, Former Penn State coach Paterno in line for six-figure pension. Yeah, because he got it. I mean, first of all, there are. Th this is the way the legal system works. It was recorded, for, reported to Paterno. He reported it to the people above him. Therefore, he has no more legal or moral responsibility. He did what was required. It is not his place to check to see that the uh, that anything was done about it. Is if you report a crime, it is not your duty to follow up to see if, the, if, if an investigation was done or arrests were made. That's not your job. That is the job of the people upstairs. And if everybody did their job and it, didn't, and it just didn't go anywhere, that's called the legal system. A lot of times people report things and they don't go anywhere. My, my father was an officer for God, I don't know, you know from the 1930s into the, into the mid-60s. And he would show up at a place, you know, um, you know, he'd go in to get something to eat, and they'd ask, you know, well, we reported we were robbed last week. We're glad that you finally came by. And what do you mean? You know, I said, I, I'm, I, I'm a traffic officer. And he said, yes, but aren't you here to investigate the robbery? And he'd say, no, that's, that's you know, that's detectives. And he said, well, you know, it was called in when the robbery was taking place. Yeah, that's that's what he would get from people, that they they never got any further than the desk, uh, and then they got put in a file, and they just don't. Uh, 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 you know, it's the same thing out here. Uh, people have built uh, permits to they can't get permits to move into houses that have been rebuilt because the the uh, permit process is stalled all because there's not enough people to work on it. But things, you know, it's really a bad thing. I mean, like the um, the church thing, the church thing. The people knew that the, the uh, priests were doing things wrong and chose to ignore it. But in Penn State, it looked like what happened was it just simply there there were not 30 or 40 complaints. There was a few complaints of which the people that made the complaints are now, according to Sandusky's things, are going to say they never filed any such complaints. <laughs> and therefore, that's why they're hauling people out of the out of the you know we may have to go back into the 1960s now. What? And, is that why Sam Desk's law, uh, lawyer vows a different story? Well, yeah, because they, uh, they're trying to find somebody that will testify. If they can't find anybody that will really testify that can be backed up, then they're in trouble. It's the same thing as, uh, as the, what's going on with Robert Wagner now. They think it's a publicity stunt, but now a woman that was in the boat next door came forward, uh, you know, 
you know, uh, I heard Natalie Wood screaming to help her and that other people saying, you know, shine, shine the light on her, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get in and get her. And um, the problem is that nobody has testified off the boat that she was yelling for help. And nobody has testified that they were going to jump, they were going to get in the water. All I know is that they said that, um, that Robert Wagner and um, Christopher Walken, when they found out she was missing, both of them, who are not the world's greatest swimmers, jumped into the water looking. That is not the indication. Two guys that aren't really good swimmers jumping off the side of a boat looking. Yeah. That's, that's, then, I mean, Curtin and Walken's got an Academy Award, and, and, um, and Wagner is a good actor, but I think they're they not were, that good. I mean, they're not that good. They were worried about, you know, Wagner's wife and Walken's co star in the movie because when she dies, his movie gets screwed, and it did get well, screwed. <laughs> I mean, it was a really bad time for his movie. Let's just say they had really good incentive to go looking for her. Yeah, it was the you know the mother of his children, you know, yeah. and and Walken, his longtime friend and co-star. I mean, Walken had known her since you know he Walken was a child actor like she was. Actually, all three of them were child actors. It's just in uh, you know actually it was Wagner and and Natalie Wood in the forties and Christopher Walken in the 50s. But child actors sort of have a bond. They tend to stick together no matter what. So... The professor's email on not supporting the Oh yeah, we well, you Democrat folks. I mean, uh, we'll, we'll put it this way, um, that yesterday, people at NASCAR booed. They wanted to get... They yeah, wanted... Well, they were booing... Uh, the Michelle, Michelle Obama, Obama. And, and Biden's wife. You know, that was totally out of place, but they did it because they, uh, the Democrats have been booing the wife of, uh, uh, you know, Laura Bush. You know, well, they have been? So it was retaliation. But the problem was, I was told, like my family had been in the military for ages. They, they said, you simply, you, you, you salute the uniform, you don't salute who's in it. She's the, they were the President of the United States' wife and the Vice President's wife. You treat them with respect, even if you don't like their husbands, and, you, and even if you don't like them, they still, you treat them with respect, and they treated them with the same respect that the, that the Cheney's wife and family has been getting, and Bush's family has been getting. It's a, a Democrat It's a respect for the office. It's respect for the office, and um, it, it, you know, you shouldn't. I mean, certainly, you know, everybody knows that Michelle Obama is probably running the White House. But everybody knew that Hillary Clinton was running the White House. And you know that a lot of wives are running the White House. But you still don't show them disrespect. Mm -hmm. You don't even show the president disrespect. You can basically say that you really don't think much of him. There comes more people with their equipment over. So. Going to work. Yeah, they and got their equipment going out now. So. And Kenneth, rare season, rare late season tropical storms in the Pacific. Oh, yeah, we, we were hit by part of it. I mean, it was a real fun time to go oh, driving yeah, yesterday. Oh, yeah, that was yesterday, wasn't it? Ooh, the girls in costume are going in now. They're getting ready. So oh, after, really? Well, what time is it? It's, boy, they're really late. They they only have lunch by Union until 1, so... Depending on what time to start. Well, it's, it's 12. They're very good at Union things. They, they have Union stewards on the set to say it's 12 o'clock break. Oh, really? Yep. Israeli minister, Iran, Iran to pass nuclear threshold. Yeah, well, they already have weapons, folks. I mean, I, I don't understand what the big deal is. I can remember when I was in college, way, way back, that we had kids, you know, we had college kids, you know, how difficult do you think it'd be making a nuclear bomb? And they'd say, well, all we got to do is scrape all of the, the stuff off of watches, and we can make a little dirty bomb. And they said, you know, that. They ask, then you go ask a teacher, they said, you know, a professor, you know, in the physics class, is it possible to make a nuclear weapon using the, you know, the uh, filings off of people's watches? And he would say, I can't say that it's possible, and I can't say that it's not impossible. Uh, that's that's the that's same as saying same. it's possible, folks. That's you, 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 So, <laughs> and it says you can, they got this stuff floating all over the universe. I mean, you can buy new Japan. You know, I mean, most of those countries with nuclear weapons have all got spare junk to sell. So. Mm -hmm. And blasting Syrian capital as a battle of Assad vows crackdown. 
Well, they're not going to bounce the guy out of office. They're, they, he's the most powerful Arab country in the world, next to Iran, and Iran supports him. So do. that's right. They're not going to bounce him. And a Monty bubble is for the Mark Twain and the Admiral Kingdom. I like this. From never knowing why, going out in the rain scares so many people.